Hi there, um, I'm just going to show you something today that I built last year and it's my product render studio. I tend to do a lot of renders that are product style shots on, on fairly clean backgrounds with some soft shadows. Um, nothing too intricate in terms of the background, I just I seem to do a lot of that in the, my line of work. Uh, and I got bored of setting the same render up each time or trying to achieve the same render. So what I did was create this this product render studio where you can basically come in, throw your object into the scene, hit the render button and pretty much be done with without too much more messing about. So I'll show you a few of the things that you can do with it and you can go and download it for free, have a play with it and see where you get to. So just showing you the setup here. So what we have basically is a box um, with just one, one panel removed. The camera's pointing directly into that and then we've got a little fake studio which is made up of three soft boxes so the left, the right and the overhead soft box and um, they're responsible for all the light and then you've got the object file here so this folder here will replace me just bin that, throw your own model into the scene uh, hit the render button and away you go a few things that you can tweak are the soft box colours so they use emissive channel um, to spit the colour out. There's a little bit of colour in there. Uh, we've got this kind of aqua blue and this kind of pale orangey colour. Uh, that's just to add a bit of interest. If you want them more white, uh, a bit lighter, or you just want pure white, just change them. Um, or equally, if you want to change the colour, just change them accordingly. Um, <clears throat> one thing you might need to do is this overhead softbox. Can sometimes just need bringing down and possibly round a little bit like so. If you do do that, just come into, come into the uh, render tag um, and uncheck the visible for primary rays just so that's not seen by camera. Because if I jump into camera mode now, the uh, overhead softbox is now fully in the view. Um, that will take it out of the render. So, other things that you can do with this are, well, first, firstly, we've got this region render. Cheetah doesn't support um, rendering of regions or area render or whatever you want to call it um, by by default, but you can fake fake away through it. So what it is is a plane with a hole cut in it, and that's attached to the camera. So if you move the camera, it comes with it, and it's unchecked by default uh, in the editor and the renderer. So if you switch that on, what you'll see is that there's a hole. Basically, this is the bit that will render all the white around it. Won't render at all, and it will cut down your render time. So if you're having an issue with your render. Um, maybe some shadow problems, something like that, and you really want to focus in on an area and you're going to do a few repeat renders over and over again, you don't want to render the whole thing, save some time, use this, um, this is exactly what it's for. If you need to move it around, come into edge mode. If the edges aren't already selected, select the four edges and just move it accordingly to where you need it to be. You can use a scale tool equally. Um, <clears throat> or just move it. Hit the render button, test it out, see what happens, see if it works. Once you get it sorted, just uncheck these two again, and away you go. I'm going to show you a couple of the renders that you can achieve with this, um, and this is pretty much by default. These are not done by me, actually. These are modelled by Alessandro, cheetah user Alessandro Refo, who uh, really likes the architectural stuff, but I think these renders are absolutely fantastic, and it's better than I expected anyone to be able to do. <laughs> I didn't know the studio was going to go this well, but yeah, it has, uh, and I think these renders are absolutely fantastic. So, it's available for free download, I'll put the link in the description for the video. Um, go and grab it, have a play, if you do something cool, drop me an email, or just give me a shout, uh, I'd love to see it. Uh, and go and have some fun. I think that is pretty much everything with this, so, until next time. I've got some more tutorials coming soon, um, so, yeah, stay tuned guys.